follow up on a story so many people were talking about. So a few years ago, this picture was all over the news, a baby connected to tubes and wires, struggling to survive, addicted to drugs. She was abandoned at a Boston hospital, weighed less than two pounds. And that, of course, is not the whole story. A nurse at that hospital stepped in to change that little girl's life forever. And please welcome pediatric nurse Liz Smith. So, Liz, you were a nurse for 20 years. You've seen it all. Yes, I've seen a lot. Seen a lot. <laughs> um, and then Giselle came into your life. She did, and she changed everything. I was walking out of the inpatient medical units, and I saw this beautiful little baby in a stroller, and I said, who is that little angel? And she had these big blue eyes and was so fragile at the time. I had one little brown curl at the top of her head. And in that moment, I knew we were gonna be part of each other's lives. I didn't know how long, I didn't know in what role, but I knew that I could help her and needed her as much as she needed me. She was at the time withdrawing as an infant from multiple drugs yes. in her system. She was born withdrawing from drugs and you know, a lot of babies when they're born into that situation, they're very fragile and you have to medically manage them closely and it's, it's really difficult to see because these babies are innocent and it, it's not in their control and they're, and they're born to over, with a lot of challenges to overcome. And as I mentioned, you've seen it all. I'm sure part of your training is I'm here to help, I'm here to be a nurse, but I'm not supposed to get too attached. Right. Yes, which is really hard. It's, it's hard in our field in general, but I think beneath it all was my struggles also to become a mom, and it became even harder in the pediatric setting to see specifically Giselle needing a mom and that I had the skill set to care for her. Where was her mother? Her mom was really focused on battling her addiction and, and trying to succeed in recovery, and, and I knew that at the time, and I knew when she first came home with me that her birth mother was gonna continue that journey and, and initially to see if she would be able to recover and be fit to care for Giselle. You talked about, again, this balance. Here you are, this pediatric nurse doing your job, but in your home life, you, as you mentioned, were also trying to start a family. Yes. I had just gone through a tough time in my life and I really couldn't figure out what the root of it was and I was depressed and I felt this emptiness that I had never felt before. And my sister highlighted, you know, I really think you should explore having a baby. A couple weeks before meeting Giselle, I found out that that wasn't going to happen. And I was devastated and I was not open to adoption at all. I didn't think it would be the same. And wow, I couldn't have been more wrong. And literally two weeks later is when she crossed my path and, and I thought to myself, this is it. I'm going to have a chance to be a mom. Giselle is now three years old. We are ready to see her and how she's doing. Come on out, Giselle. <laughs> come on, sit up here. I mean, come on. You see that run into the arms. Look at, that is love. That is love. You couldn't have, oh, goodness. So this month you have a special celebration coming up? Yes, October 18th. This is the one year anniversary of the adoption. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Giselle, you want to say anything? <laughs> Meanwhile, backstage in my dressing room, I kept hearing someone jiggle yes. my door. She was trying to get into my dressing room. She was room. trying to meet Tamara. I, like, can, could you have ever imagined this? You can't no. script this. No, no, you can't. I mean, I often say it sounds made up, but it's just, she's changed my life forever. I mean, to see the power of love not just I'm transform. We're on the TV. We're on the TV. <laughs> you know, she's transformed mine as much as... You know, people will often say, she's so lucky that Run you rescued her, but really, she rescued me. Uh oh, you want to go on the TV? Go ahead. Go ahead, go to the TV. There you go. Oh, here she goes again. Oh, be careful. Oh, I got to take you down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh boy. Okay, hold on. Here she goes again on that. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Giselle for sharing your story. Say, we'll be right back. Wave bye-bye. Bye, we'll be right back.